she's come to terms that her mom is gonna pass but it still don't stop it from hurting it still hurt because that's your parent that's the person that gave you life so y'all pray for my cousin's strength I know a lot of y'all are fond of her so I'm thinking I'm, she's probably up at the hospice place and I'm thinking that I'm gonna go there before I go to work to check on her I just don't like her being up there all day because it's like you're waiting for that person to pass on to <laughs> another life and that sometimes can be that can be stressful and, and hurtful within itself but I understand that she wants to be by her mom's side when her mom decides not to be on this earth anymore so I respect that but yeah Our family has been dealing with a lot lately. If it ain't the children, it's something like this. And all I know to do is be there for my cousin. Like, you never can tell somebody how they should feel or how they should respond or how they should act. Because I know when my mom or my cousin, I mean, I know when my dad or my cousin or my children passed, there was not a person on this earth that could tell me how I was supposed to grieve, how I was supposed to respond to that. You know what emotions I was supposed to have and if I should get over it or not like you lying to get cussed out you tell me anything about my grieving process because the truth of the matter is you don't stop grieving even 
years later. I grieve for my children on their birthdays. I grieve for my children during holidays. I grieve when I see like the grown-ups with their dads and stuff and I don't have mine. I grieve that. I grieve that some families are so close and they have all their cousins are all like together and united and a lot of y'all know I don't deal with a lot of people in my family. Just because I always been a no BS type, no nonsense type person. So if you full of drama, if you full of BS, I'm enough drama for anybody. Okay, I'm just not drama as in problems. I'm dramatic and I'm loud. I'm a whole lot of me. Okay, so I don't have time for pettiness because I'm petty enough. I don't have time for drama. I don't have time for messiness. I don't have time for anything that's not going to help me grow in life. And I don't have time for he say, she say, messy type stuff. So I, I choose not to deal with certain people in my family. And that's on my daddy's side and my mama's side. And that's okay. I just don't want to deal with them. Um... And I'm saying they bad people. They just not my cup of tea. Just like I might not be their cup of tea. And I feel like I don't care if we are family. I'm not gonna fake them and be and be fraud and be laughing in your face knowing that I really don't cuff you. And I'm since us doing lunch and I'm since uh me coming to certain family functions because I don't fool with you. And my mom my mama like I don't know if y'all watched the previous video video when I took my mom to the crab shake. She said, uh, when I asked her, I saw her, I said, did nobody give me no invitation? She like, girl, you wasn't going no way. Because she know I don't fool with people. I don't fool with people. Because I don't, like I said, I don't do that talking about somebody behind their damn back. If you, if you say it once, your ass better be able to say it again. And I'm the type of person, I'm going to look you dead in your face and say, don't go, don't come tell me, go tell her. You don't, you got an issue with her. I don't want to hear about it. That's just me. <sighs> so, yeah. Yeah, I've been up since 6 this morning because although I didn't have to be to work till 2 to 10, and, you know, Fridays, it's normally the days I drink. I had um, a nice daiquiri yesterday. And I think I used too much rum. And for a person that has acid reflux really, really bad, certain things you cannot do. And baby, I threw that rum up in there, honey. I had acid reflux, heartburn all night to the point I had to go to sleep sitting up and I was so uncomfortable and I'm so mad at myself that I did that. I just like a good drink. That's just me. I just like a good drink. If I can get a good, good drink, I'm set. I don't even need two drinks. I don't need three drinks. I don't need four drinks. Give me one good drink. Let me not get drunk. Let me just be feeling good and a little buzz. And we in business. And it gave me a buzz. But it also gave me. Um, it's my acid, it started up my acid reflex. So I was really uncomfortable last night. And I'm tired. So thank God that the shift I'm going on right now. There's literally nothing to do. I really. When I walk in there. I'm literally. I'm going. Oh. No. They need to fix that shit. Bitch. I'm literally going to be sitting in a booth doing absolutely positively nothing. There's nothing for me to do. They need to fix this. That's why I don't come to the hood. Because they streets. Take pride in, 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 in they streets like y'all. Take pride in these old rich neighborhoods. Ooh, they don't want to be hitting potholes and oh, God, it just irritates me how they do my people. But then if my people don't never speak up or say nothing about it, then what? What can you do? <sighs> okay, so I'm finna ship these wigs out because I have some winners that won a wig contest that I threw. So I'm getting ready to ship them off and get well get them ready and ship them off. So. Yeah.
all right guys let me take care of this and i will see you i hope y'all enjoyed my car vlog y'all know sometimes i like coming to talk to y'all about different stuff you know it's not gonna always be a family vlog sometimes it's just gonna be a car vlog and it's just gonna be us so i hope y'all didn't mind this vlog sometimes i just need to get a lot of stuff off my chest that be on my mind so all right guys until next time if nobody told you you're beautiful remember simply keys i was gonna tell you you're beautiful because you simply are and i will see you guys on the next one